Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today um, I'm gonna be making some chicken taquitos. I'm gonna be making some chipotle, chipotle chicken taquitos. These are off the chain. Guess who wants to go outside? Guess who's gonna have to wait? Um, but we're gonna go ahead and throw these together. Um, they are gonna be so fan. Fantastic. We're going to use some chicken breast, and I bought some um, the little corn tortillas um, that we're going to wrap these in. They're just amazing. I don't know if you've ever had the taquitos out of you know, your local grocery's freezer, but this puts those things to shame. All right, in here I've got, um, this is six chicken breasts, nice sized chicken breasts that I just basically sliced, um, you know, just sliced them in like little chunks, slices, whatever. The reason I've done this is because I want to make sure that the flavors um, just like penetrate every little bit of this chicken. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I love this, love this, love this. I can't tell you how much I love this. I'm going to add one beef bouillon into here, one beef bouillon cube, and then we're going to add all this goodness right here. This is going to go right in there. This is an onion, a little bit of lime. We're going to um, squeeze some lime there. And I've got some cilantro, just a half of a jalapeno, and some garlic. Let's go ahead and toss that in. Now, if you want to make this in your uh, slow cooker, you can definitely do that. You can make it in the oven. Um, I've done the chipotle chicken or and the um, beef in the oven many, many times, and it is a big, big winner here. Look at that. You know that's going to be good. And we're going to add a different spoon here. I'm gonna add some oregano, and you know what? I really wanted more oregano than I have here, but gotta use what we got, what I have on hand. That's probably a good teaspoon. I like to use about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of it, especially since I got this much chicken going on. And then we're gonna use some ground cumin. Couple nice big dollops of that. Look at that. Why does that look like that? It's going to create such a smoky deliciousness for these. You know who wants to go out? You know she starts. As soon as the camera rolls, she starts. Again, that's some ground cumin. I'm also going to use a little bit of chipotle peppers. This is chipotle peppers right here. They come in a can. They're not very expensive. I'm just going to plop just a couple of them right down in there. We're going to use four. How's that? And some of that chipotle juice that it's gonna make it so good now I'm just gonna freeze the rest of these I'm gonna put them in like in a little Ziploc baggie and freeze the rest of those because those are gold those are gold my friends now with a different spoon I hate washing dishes and I'm gonna be washing a lot of them I'm gonna put a nice big dollop of tomato paste in there as well. Now this I'm going to use later um, for my rice, so I'm just going to put that in a, you know, another type container and put that in the refrigerator. We're also going to add some fresh squeezed lime in here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. A little rinsing of the hands. And then we're also going to add this is just water but I put my spoons in there that I added um, you know where I took out the chipotle um, peppers and that I just stick them in there just look at that and flavored it a little bit right and we're going to add some water to this And we're just going to cook this on top of the stove. We're just going to combine this. Just kind of stir it around. I want you to look at that. That, water, that liquid that's in there, that water is going to cook this chicken. And make it absolutely amazing with all these delicious flavors in there. Let's go ahead and add some black pepper. And then we're just going to put this on the stove and get it started. I mean, look at this. I already made my pico de gallo sauce. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I could just make this and eat it, you know, 
just like this. It is so flavorful. I like to make it ahead of time. I already have a recipe on here how to make that, so you might want to check that out if you plan on making this dish. Now I'm going to bring this right over to the stove top, top here. I'm going to turn it on about medium high to get it started. Let it start cooking. Oh! Look at that. Look at all those flavors. I might have to add just a little bit more liquid in here, but this chicken is going to cook perfectly in this, and it's just going to be seasoned and infused. It's going to be infused, oh my goodness, with all of that delicious flavor. Once this comes up, starts coming up to a boil, I'm going to put the lid on it um, and just kind of cock the lid off to the side, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to let that chicken cook in all that. Make sure that you stir it often and keep your eye on it. It's probably going to take maybe about a good... I don't know, 45 minutes or so to cook. I want to make sure my chicken is nice and done. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. This is cooked um, about an hour. And look at all that nice, delicious uh, broth in there that's thickened. The chipotle like seasoning. Look, that is just so infused into that chicken. So I'm going to uh, let this cool. I've been kind of cutting it up with my knife, of my knife, with my spoon there. See how easy it is to cut. Look at that. I tasted it. It is absolutely phenomenal. It's going to make for some of the best taquitos you've ever eaten. All right, my chicken is done, and what I did is I let it cool completely, and then I just shredded it up. Um, I cooked it earlier in the day so I could be ready. You know, right now it's supper time to get it together. So I've just shredded it. Actually, I just shredded it with my fingers, and it cooked up nicely. I want you to look at that. Every bit of that. Uh, broth, the liquid that was in there is it's absorbed right into that meat. It is going to be phenomenal. What I'm going to do now is add um, the Sargento four cheese Mexican. This is what I like. And I'm just going to add it right into my chicken here. I got my dog sitting over there. Look at him. Look at that over there. Wait patiently. I'm not, sometimes I'll give him some cheddar, but I'm not giving him this. This has got, you know, the good cheese in it. So I'm going to add that in there. I'm going to throw it all over the stove first. And then I'm just going to combine this. I'm just going to combine it until all the cheese is melted nicely in with the chicken. And then we're just going to start rolling our taquitos up. It's really that simple. And you could make this the day before if you wanted to. A couple days before. You could make it a week before. Put it in the freezer and it would turn out perfect. I placed my corn tortillas in the microwave for um, about 25 to 30 seconds and I placed a um, wet paper towel over top of them. So what we're going to do is um, that's going to prevent them from cracking. Hopefully that's going to prevent them from cracking. Let me turn this, turn that off there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush a little bit of olive oil on top of it. That will also help prevent um, cracking and then we're just going to roll these up. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put the meat in. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells so good. I'm just going to take a little bit of the meat, the cheesy meat, and you're just going to put it right on either side and you're just going to roll it. And then we're going to place it seam side down right on your baking sheet. I want you to go ahead and preheat your oven to um, 425 degrees. I guess I better do mine as well, right? A little olive oil to keep them from cracking. and your meat. You could use um, beef if you wanted to. You could use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey. Yeah. You could use ground anything and just roll it. And then seam side down very closely to the other one right on your baking sheet. I'm gonna continue to roll these 
and uh, we're going to pop them in the oven 425 for um, about 10 or 12 minutes and then I might have to end up turning them um, over. I will let you know and uh, they're going to be in there probably for a total of about 16, 17 minutes but I will show you the finished product. Okay, there's one important rule when you're making these things. You got to work fast. But you do have to make sure that you um, you work fast. If you're going to make these in batches, you better make them in batches, put them in the oven, deep fry them, air fry them, whatever you're going to do with them because the shell will start cracking. Put a little bit of pico on mine. That's what I love. If you want to throw some jalapeno peppers on there, you could certainly do that. I think I'm out. Uh, I don't like sour cream on mine, but if you like sour cream on yours, you go right ahead. I'm going to go have some of these, dig into these. I also made some um, like Mexican type rice, just a little cumin, um, onion, um, and some garlic and some chicken stock. I'm going to have this for dinner. I'm going to go sit down and eat. I hope you try this really soon. You know I love you guys very much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.